It's green. Oh, oh. The land is green. It's green. Can't you see? I can't see. Oh, the, the harvest is ready. Cause he told me so. It's green and it's all mine. Three years of President Muhammadu Buhari administration. I see that the Ministry of Transportation show some progressive change in rail transportation with an improved and expanded rail network in certain parts of the country newer, better trains. I was also pleasantly surprised to see the Abuja Metro Line and Metro Station. Next I noticed through my bank the progressive change in the banking sector with personal banking apps and facilities making banking easier, matching exactly what is available in the United States. Then, the ground-breaking currency exchange agreement between the Central Bank of Nigeria and the People's Bank of China. Today, with IMF's recent acceptance of the Chinese yen as a major world currency at par with the dollar for international currency exchange, this agreement has become a milestone of PMB's administration in its potential to firstly bring down the exchange rate of the Naira to the dollar, secondly to ease trade with China on which most countries have become dependent on imported goods and by so doing drastically cut down Nigeria's high prices of imported household goods. Now, what makes this alliance with China especially impressive is its very potential in economic growth reorientation of Nigerians' mindset. Because these are a people who grew from being classified as a third world country as late as 1990 to an economic power of a first world status by 2010. This is a space of 20 years of patience and continuity of governance. Governance driven by sheer will and commitment to patriotism and development. An example that this can be achieved on our Nigerian soil is the ABC-led government of Lagos State, Nigeria which has, in the last 11 years of two administrations, grown slowly but steadily in development. Next, I moved on to the most vital ministry that underscores poverty in any country, the Ministry of Agriculture, which is responsible for food production. Since hunger, is merely another word for poverty. I found that under President Muhammad Buhari's administration, an innovation to make large-scale and small-scale farming easier for farmers was introduced in 2016 by the Ministry of Agriculture, called Contract Farming, and with it a neutralization of the cabal of select wealthy farmers who had always in the past diverted government-owned fertilizers to resell to small-scale farmers for huge profits to the detriment of national food production. Also is the launch of the dry season rice and wheat farming. 
and the small and large scale farmer loans for smart men and women to become patient millionaires, employers of labor, and produce enough food to feed Nigerians from one generation to another in all areas of farming, from crops to livestock to fish and dairy farming. I find particularly exciting PMB's passing the Not Too Young to Rule law, which has reduced the qualifying age of young people for elective posts. This finally allows a breath of fresh air into a political arena that has been recycling the same politicians for almost half a century. It is interesting to note that all these strides are promises from the 2015 Change Manifesto of President Muhammadu Buhari that has been kept. But I was still curious about the most topical promise of that manifesto at that time, which was the recovery of the Chiba girls and the apprehension of the terrorist group kidnappers, Boko Haram, the special advisor to President Muhammadu Buhari on media and publicity. Mr. Femi Adeshino spoke on the better arming of the Nigerian army, which he says led to the weakening of Boko Haram and the recovery of another group called the Dapchi Girls. The land is green, it's green, oh, oh. The land is green, it's green, can't you see? The harvest is ready, cause the Lord of the harvest told me so. It's green, it's green. Hey, Henry. Hi. Hi. Great to see you. Thank you. Um, what we got here, Mission of Nigeria Beyond the Millennium Development Goals, the Sustainable Development. Are you attending this? Yes, I'm very honored to attend. I'm really happy to be here. Okay. Uh, and uh, thanking the Nigerian, the Federal Republic of Nigeria for inviting me. Thank you. Tell, tell um, Nigerians in Africa, who are you? Uh, my name is Henry Morgenstern. I'm the uh, CEO of Security Solutions International. We're a company that trains all over the world in counterterrorism. We're very worried about what's going on in Nigeria. We feel that the future is Nigeria, but this kind of shadow hanging over it needs to be taken care of. We believe that if you train your regular forces, as opposed to special forces, you can avoid attacks like the one that happened in Mumbai. It should be devastating, both from the human point of view and worse from the economic point of view for Nigeria right now. So I think we can uh, look at the solution that we offer as a ray of hope. If you make the commitment to win, you can win. Finally, on my findings, is the anti-corruption and accountability initiative of the administration, which has been criticized as being lopsided and partisan with the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC operations, which I find has actually succeeded in exposing past leaders who diverted public property to their private ownership and continued to run their private businesses with public funds. Yeah, it's a very simple society where everyone, no one is above the law. <laughs> One thing I know is this, uh, for us to work together, for us to call a spade a spade, for us to see a criminal and call them criminal, avoid them if need be, avoid them. But our problem is that we contribute to these leaders and these looters because we celebrate them. Yes. They will, for instance, they come to the U.S. here, people will be running around organizing for them, even paying for them. Worship, ah, are you worshiping a criminal? Exactly. Then you go behind them, you know you're their criminal, you talk nonsense about them and so on cut them off, ostracize them, avoid them. And that's one thing I proudly can tell you, I don't worship anybody. No matter how poor or rich I can be, I can never stoop so low. The only time I bow down is to worship the Creator. You understand? Thank you very much. And has recovered from foreign banks 
millions of dollars in public funds stolen by past leaders. These recovered funds, however, Nigerian masses expect to be plugged back in funding badly needed infrastructure to provide essential utilities like stable electricity nationwide, without which there cannot be any meaningful improvement to the quality of life of the masses of Nigerians. And employment providing foreign investors will continue to shy away from the high cost of production overheads in unstable electricity supply, leaving world statistics no choice but to continue to rank Nigeria among the poorest nations on earth in the midst of her much high level human and natural resources. The power, because that is the primary need of Nigerians, the power, you know. The poor man needs power. The businessman needs power. And development needs power. Like you rightly said, power. Yeah. Actually, is germane to any nation. Yeah. Yeah. In sustainable Japan. No, we can't take it no longer. The poor people living in fear. No, this is a serious matter. So much plus wet and yes. No, we can't take it no longer. The poor people living in fear. No, this is a serious matter. So much plus wet and yes. Oh, we and them a go walk this out. When they don't understand the poor man's language, the rich are getting richer, the poor getting poorer. And that's so shut up your mouth. What we are going to do? What we are going to do? <laughs> Things are getting rougher. What we are going to do? What we are going to do? <laughs> Life is getting tougher. What we are going to do? What we are going to do? In a time like this, so what we are going to do? What we are going to do? So much lost weight and tears. No, we can't take it no longer. The poor people living in fear. No, this is a serious matter. Listen up. Boom. Hey. The weak are getting weaker. The strong getting stronger. And they say our voices are right. If it's true, our leader them say. Tell me why people they suffer every day. Take a body fling crunch and the bomb blast. I be the beggars when they beg for the street. Our government them promise. Say things go better. Do you remember? I look at four. Boom. They promise our children good education. See them being slaughtered like chicken or we nation. Most of our leaders them don't know what they do. Ask them. I mean, no, no, oh, oh. God, that is the poor man's prayer. God, they cry away from the ghetto. God, they for so long and too long. No. This is a serious matter. No, we can't take it no longer. The poor people living in fear. No, this is a serious matter. Oh, I. Uh, uh.